This is the PixInsight process tutorial for the process autohistogram. You find it in process, intensity transformation, and here it is. Autohistogram is a stretching process. And we have a ton of stretching process scripts possibilities within PixInsight. Now, usually they're in two groups. The one group, like the screen transfer function, is very easy. It's just a touch of a button and you get the stretched image. They usually deliver average to subpar results. The other group are the ones where you put a lot of effort in, but you also get a stellar outcome. And an example here would be the generalized hyperbolic stretch script. So now, if you're a rebel and you don't want to be in one of the two groups, but you want one which you have to put a lot of effort in and the result is bad, this is the process for you. And then, after I've reviewed the assisted color calibration, I thought I really reached rock bottom. But this is so much worse <laughs> that it's almost hard to believe it exists. So, that might be already enough for you and you can leave and do something more meaningful with your time. But if you want to see how bad it really is, here we go. So, autohistogram, we have here the Western Veil, I just did a color calibration and the background neutralization. So we put that now on unstretched. So what do we have to do? First of all, we have to set it as an active image. We get some readout of the channels. And once we have color calibrated it, we can say joint RGB channels. We have three different stretch methods, gamma exponent, logarithmic transformation, and rational interpolation. What they have in common, none of them really works. The first thing which it has in common with the assisted color calibration is there is no preview button. So no live preview of what you're doing. You just have to always try it out and then undo again. So we go now with the RGB channel up and we execute. And it gets a little bit brighter. So we're now doing, we undo that. We go up again and we execute again. It looks now already much brighter in the background, which is actually bad, and the nipple we still don't see. So we go back again, we try it out more. It's even brighter now. The nebula amazingly is still not visible. We could now to actually put the brightness back, clip it. So we go into histogram clipping and we clip it. You obviously have to go to undo again, and let's start that. Now, actually, you start to see the nebula, so we can actually probably go here a little bit back. Here, don't forget to undo again, clip a little bit more. I know, is it better and worse now? Hard to say. Let's try that again. Probably have to go down here again a little bit. Oh, now it's gone again. Now the nebula is completely gone again. Nice. Um. Should I continue? I don't think so. I don't feel like it. I think you you got it. it it's, it's completely insane. <laughs> you probably need by guesswork about a half an hour to kind of find the right combination. And I spent now quite a while and I never really managed to get anything decent out of it. And why should we? We have so great tools for stretching. You know, it really blows my mind why this process is still in Pix Insight. No clue at all. So I hope you got something out of it, like a feeling of horror or uh, just some smile. <laughs> and obviously, you know now which process never to use, and that's also of value. So again, with the, with the big hope that next time I can show you something more helpful again. See you next time and clear skies.